can have a seat for me. Right here. I'm certainly not going to run off on you, but is there any way to loosen or... Yeah, what we're going to do, the reason I asked you if you're left or right-handed is because we're going to let go of the one on your right wrist. We're going to hook your left wrist to the um, chair here, okay? Okay. All right, so... Are you injured at all? I was bit by the dog. Um, but I'm okay. Okay, is that blood on your leg yours? I, get, I don't think so. And your hand is not, that's not your blood? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Alrighty. Uh, is that your water? Yes, that's his. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, do you need anything? Do you want me to redo that cuff so you can spin it around? Or? Um, yeah, that's fine. If, if you could. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm all right. Are you comfortable or are you good? I'll be okay. Okay. You just holler if you need anything, okay? Alrighty. If you need anything, yeah, just shout out and we'll be right there, okay? Uh, how long will I be in here? I can't give you an answer. It's going to be until until it's done. Well, okay. Um, Officer Norwood said that my son would be coming up here. You know anything about my son? Um, we'll find out. From what I understand, he is being brought up here. We'll keep an eye on him for now. Okay. All right, if that's all right. Uh, I mean... And do you know, I mean, is there any way to get in touch with his mom? There, There is, but I, I, I don't know if I'm going home or not tonight. Okay. Do you, do you have full custody of him? We're in the process. In the process. Okay, okay sir. All right. Fair enough. We'll try to abide by that. Whatever agreements or whatever you're trying to do with it. Uh, it's, it is my week with the baby. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Your week? Okay, so her week would be next week. Correct. You guys alternate every seven days? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, you're, I guess your week just started then. Yes, sir. Um, okay. We'll try to be as accommodating with that as we can, but we do need to talk about what happened. Um, I, I, if that's I, all right with you, I understand. and uh, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to, <laughs> to to take care of before we can even do that. So, um, are, are you going to be the one that yes. speaks with me? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Are you hurt at all? The dog did bite me. Um, okay. But I, I I don't need any medical attention. Okay. If, all right. Just, just want to be sure of that before we get started, okay? If yes, you do, we will get medical treatment for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be just outside. So, like we said, if there's anything you need, just shout, okay? You'll be able to hear me with the We'll be able to hear Concerned about my son. Talk to somebody like anybody. Anybody about the situation that happened tonight. I mean, I was bit by a dog. I just would like to be able to express my side of the story. I don't know if I can even be able to link up with my my child. Well, like we said, your son should have been transported here. Again, I will find out for you as soon as I know where he is. I will let you know. Um, you will be able to talk to anyone that you want to. One of us here. That's why we're here in this. Well, I mean, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but, well, I mean, obviously I'm, you're not going to be the one to talk to me. Uh, we're both going to talk to you. Uh, um, do you. Do you have any idea when that's... It's going to it's gonna take some time, so just be patient with us. You said he's going to be transferred up here? 
He should have already been, I uh, heard them call. Well, we did, right? I'll find out where your son is, okay? I'd like to just be able to state my side of the story. Okay, we'll see if we can expedite some of this stuff, okay? But again, you just gotta be patient, okay? All right, give me a few minutes, all right? I'll find out about your son. Thank you. Hey, um, do you, Miss Hobbs is down in the lobby. That's not good. To represent you as your, as your attorney. Is this something that you want to happen or not? Absolutely. You do? Okay. Your son is here. Uh, he is doing fine. They found um, some way to show him Dora the Explorer. So he's he's good. And I believe your mom is also with him. Okay. So. Um, is she coming back here? I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you yes. for doing that. No problem. Of course.
you and your boxers. I don't want you to talk to your mom and your bo and boxers. So they're a little big, but um, they should be better than wearing underwear. I appreciate that. Do you think at this point? We're working that out. Um, How about my charges? Mm -hmm. My charges? Yeah, I mean. Would she not be looking at any charges? Shot your girlfriend. I didn't. Okay, I'll, right. I'll just wait. Yeah, talk, talk to her, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, the, if, 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 if she's your attorney, talk to her, okay? okay. Um, I have to go talk to Jasmine, um, and we are going to serve a search warrant on the house, so. Collect, co to collect whatever evidence is there of what happened, all right? Um, I'll just go ahead and ask you, the dog involved, whose dog is it? That's her dog. Her dog, okay. That's the one that bit you? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, one, one other question. Is, is my attorney going to be able to come back here to see me? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to bring her up here. <laughs> you, you, whenever you're ready. Yeah, well, whenever. It's, you know, it's your mom, so yeah, it, I know it's, it's a little different than, than the average scenario. I'm so. pretty sure. Um, okay. All right, and the, you know, the conversation obviously is going to be privileged. We're not going to record it or anything like that. Talk to your mom, okay? I understand. All right. What type of injuries you have? Is this the same dog you lied and said had love? Supposed to be picked up tonight. Pardon me? The dog was supposed to be picked up tonight. I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I can I talk to her for a second? I'm going to. We're gonna. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to talk here in a second. to you? Yes, uh huh. Just, you just want to take a picture of the. We body. need to take pictures of your injuries first, okay? And then, and then you have the room to talk to your mom. Okay. Uh, I do need to put shackles on your on your feet first, okay? You take the picture. Yes, ma'am. For now, if you don't mind. Um, Okay, I have to put these on you since you're in our custody, all right? I'm not accusing you of being a flight risk or anything else. It has happened in the past, therefore the mandate we do this. So, where are all the injuries on your legs? Just so he knows, so he can photograph This is the, the, the main one. Okay. 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 All right. Anything on your hands, your face, your body that's covered by your shirt? My, my knuckles just fine with the dog. Okay. All right. We're going to get photos of all that. All right. It's, you know, it's for the best interest of the case. Okay. Probably like talking. I just wanted to see what happened myself before. No. I'm going to go ahead and take these off of you, okay? Okay. Is that what you're running? No, 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 no. If you want to go ahead, I need a name. A first name Justin, correct? Yes. Last name Haynes, H A Y N E S. 
Yeah, not better than just maybe a little tenant here. Yeah. Uh, you know the case number by chance? I don't know why. 114. Tenant here. Just number 223. Now photograph his thighs. I'm sorry? His injuries on his thighs? Um, injuries on his thighs, his hands, you know, overalls and everything else. Okay. Um, just what we usually do. Good, Jerry. You good? Uh, yes. No other injuries that you're not telling us about. Anything on your back, no, your it. your front sides, anywhere that's else you're hurting. That's it for the. Okay. All right. Um, was that the shirt you were wearing yes. when this all happened? Did you have anything over it? No. Okay. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to seize your shirt. Okay. Go, hold on, hold on one second before you take it off. That's your shirt. Um, unfortunately, it is just as baggy as the shorts. At least you'll be matching them. I do have a hand up and right there. Okay? But you're welcome to talk to your mom as long as you need to talk to your mom, okay?
Do you want to be present while we speak to him? Yes. Okay. All right. You, you're welcome to sit next to him. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll move your chair around. Okay. Okay. So just so you're aware, the recording is now going. I'm going to back up record this as well in audio. Um, This is Investigator Kelly Isaacs. She's assisting me, you know, tonight. Okay. Um, Mr. Haynes, uh, you're present with your attorney. However, I'm still going to read you your rights, just so you're aware of them, okay? Before you answer any questions or make any statements, you must fully understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford a higher lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained to you? I do. Okay. Have you previously asked any of the law enforcement officers to allow you to speak to an attorney about this incident? Which you said yes. Um, your attorney's here. Um, and having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me about this now? Yeah, you tell them the truth. So, this is kind of unique. You, you know, your, your mom is you're also your lawyer, all right? No matter how far into this you get, I'm sure she's explained this to you, you can stop, okay? I'm not going to push you to do anything you don't want to do. I understand. Okay? And uh, we'll, we'll go through it as much as you want to or as little as you want to, all right? Yes, sir. If for any reason you don't, Agree because I, I family's family's family. I understand. Um, this, like I said, um, this is more emotional than just your typical. We can proceed. Okay. Yes, all right. Sir. All right. So, how I understand it is from what you've told officers so so far, is that the dog was attacking you. You were you were scared, and shot. I was in fear of harm in my life. The dog had already bit me mm -hmm. at that time. Um, there was some type of disagreement. I don't even know what the circumstances for the disagreement was, but she had so-called barricaded herself within the room with the dog. Okay. And this is being, being Being the um, deterrent for me to come into the room. She obviously knew that the dog was upset because um, she was upset any time... I've dealt with her, and that, and the, and the dog, and she gets upset. The dog tends to mirror her emotions. I went in the room to try to speak with her about what was going on. The dog immediately got upset and disgruntled. I tr she tried to restrain the dog at that point, and I reached into the closet to try to go and get something out of the closet. Mm -hmm. What were you trying to get out of the closet? Just some clothes. Okay. I was just trying to put on some drawers and some and a shirt. I didn't have anything on at the time. Okay. So I went in there to try to retrieve some stuff. In the process, she's trying to restrain the dog because she's arguing with me, and at the same time, the dog is upset. What was the argument over? Because she didn't feel that it was appropriate that she was not able to come to the house. Okay. There this is not a house where she lives, correct? No, it's not her house. It's, okay. it's where I stay. Okay. They have already told her that she's not welcome at the house. There's a trespass order against her at the house. Okay. But you allowed her out louder there initially. I, I, I allowed her to okay. pick up the dog. Okay. There's a trespass order against her at the house. So in the process, I allowed her to come in and retrieve her dog. She decided to stay longer than it is that it would have taken to take the dog okay. from the house. In the process, she lingered around, stayed in the living room or whatever, ended up coming into some type of confrontation with me. I don't even know what it was about, but I'm assuming it was the fact that she could not be at the house because 
of what my grandfather and my mother told her about coming to the house. And this has to do with cutting my tires and doing all kinds of other okay. um, things at the house. So I was explaining to her that this is not going to be appropriate. You have to take this dog here. I can't From here, I can't watch the dog anymore. Anyway, she got an attitude about that. She goes into the... When did you have that conversation? I'm sorry. This is just prior to... So guess, in person? Yes, sir. Did you communicate this at all by we, phone uh, earlier? Like... Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I, t I told her, and I'm not sure if it was via text or a phone call, where it is that I told her that it was inappropriate. The reason I'm asking is if there's any kind of proof to what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to know it. So if there's cell phone communication between you two. I can't and remember if there were text messages or not. I would, okay. I would have to reference my phone, but I know it is that I told well, her that it was Even call logs, you know, yeah. I, I believe there is a text message that, that indicates okay. that I was not... Or, cool with the dog and that we needed to be if, if she if the dog was gonna stay any longer than it is as she intended, that we needed to be careful okay. about it because they didn't want the dog there and I didn't personally want the dog there because he's a liability. Okay. At Fair that enough. at that point I indicated to her that Why is it that you let me just ask this. I, I yesterday I went by the house on my way to church mm -hmm. and I saw the dog in the yard. I went through the room. So I know okay. he had to get rid of that dog. Right. Okay. She made it very clear that the dog needed to go. Okay. At that point, I indicated that to her earlier in the day, or at least that anywhere from from lunchtime to closing time, 5 o'clock. Okay. Uh, that the dog was not welcome at the house and that she would have to make other arrangements as far as keeping the dog. She said something about being Airbnb, and that's what her house was doing. And that she couldn't keep the dog at the house because due to obviously her rental situation with Airbnb. Once it is that we got into an argument about the dog, she decided to barricade herself in in that's my words, barricade herself within the room to where it is that I couldn't access my own bedroom without having to go through her or the dog. Okay. I go into the bedroom to try to go ahead and talk to her about what it is that's going on and removing the dog from the house. The dog is disgruntled. She is restraining the dog in um, in this kind of manner, right? Okay, so she's got it like around the body, the neck? Around, around the neck. Okay. Trying to keep the dog from okay. advancing. Anyway, I go into the room, try to retrieve whatever it is that I retrieve from the closet, the dog bites me on the leg. Okay. From that point, I retreat out of the room. I leave. I leave the room, shut the door behind me, and I immediately go and grab. Um, what would, I guess would be the AK that's in my house. Okay. Describe describe that gun so we know which one it is. It is a, a Kalashnikov an AK-47. Um, is it like a? A short barrel type gun, a long barrel, 16 inch barrel type gun. It's Does it have a stock it's a on rifle. it? It's a, it's got a stock. It's a rifle. Okay. Yes, All right. Um, is it, what color is it? Um, it's a wood stock and it's a pretty much well black gun. Okay. Um, and the handgun it is that I usually keep in the house happened to be in the closet. So I, I didn't have any access to that. So I retreated okay. to whatever it is that I. I had to defend myself against the dog. And where did you say you kept the AK? It's in another bedroom, close to the bathroom on the other side of the house. Um, okay. Spare bedroom. So you retreated from the bedroom because you couldn't go any further to get your pistol? Correct. So you retreated from the bedroom, went and got your AK-47? From from another bedroom. From so another bedroom and came back to this bedroom? Yes, sir. It's okay. a four-bedroom house. Okay. Um, in the process, um, when I, it is that I tried to go back in there and ask her to take the dog up out of here um, because the bedroom that I share is adjacent to the bedroom that my son shares. It's right okay. across. There's a bathroom here, my bedroom, and, and his bedroom. So when it is that I opened the door, the dog was sitting right behind the door again, um, right behind my bedroom door. Okay. So when it is that I open up the door, the dog is right there. Shut the door. I ask her, Jasmine, to take the dog up out of the house. I'm telling you, I'm serious. The dog has already bit me. 
shoot at, through the door in, in my intention is at the dog, right? Okay. Um, because at this point, I don't want my son to walk out of the room who is just behind me, not even two or three feet from behind me, um, in defense. So I shoot, I, I shoot right through the corner or the, the um, lock of the door, right? Okay. At where it is that I perceive the dog to still be. Um, upon doing that, she starts yelling and blah 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 blah. You you know you shot me, and I I didn't see the dog after that since um, you know every I was apprehended and everything. But my intention was to go ahead and deal with the threat at the time because I was in fear for my life mm -hmm. and obviously for my son's life. Um, was the dog trying to get through the door? Yes, the dog. The dog. So there'll be scratch well, marks I, on the door. I will. I don't know how you would say the dog is trying to get through the door, but he he can jump, mm -hmm. you know, and he scratches at the door. Even when you let him out to go and urinate out on the back porch, you can hear him scratching at the door and jumping to do so. Okay. So while I was outside of the door, the dog is whining. Um, doing that kind of whimpering sound mm -hmm. and scratching at the door as well as jumping at it. So when I come back to the door, he's doing, it's the process of him doing all of that and I basically just reacted. Okay. Um, Can I just ask one question? Why were you afraid of the dog? The dog had already bit me and um, she has personally told me that the dog had mauled her ex-fiance to the point where he had had plastic surgery on one side of his face because of a similar a similar situation just like this where he was trying to enter a room she was apparently in the room and the dog attacked him okay um, I don't know if there's a police report about it but his name is Junior Tate okay and he had to have some type of surgery, according to her, as a result of the incident with the dog, or the contact with the dog. Okay. Um, now, so I, I know I know that the dog is capable of um, hurting someone. Because prior to that night, and prior to our interaction, he had knocked my son down already, and he, he began to cry. So I put him in the room, and I actually locked the door at that okay. time. Well, like... Yes, sir. Was the dog attacking your son, or it wasn't just, it? it I, or just I running can't, around the house? I mean, I can't discern whether or not it was. I, I, I won't say he was attacking, but he was playing in such a manner that, or he was dealing with my son in such a manner as that my son started crying. He didn't. He didn't appreciate the contact. Okay. In other words, how old um, is this dog? Six, maybe. Okay. Um, upon. Um, my son falling down and crying and stuff like that. I believe that at that point she retreated to the room. Okay. Yes, sir. So just to, for the scenario, just so I get this correct, she comes over at your request to come retrieve the dog. Yes, sir. Okay. There's an argument that happens over this. She's upset because she's been trespassed from the house. Now needs to find a place for this dog. She's upset by that, and you guys argue. Well, truth be told, she, and I did not know this until she mm -hmm. told me about this, but I, I actually thought she was in Atlanta. I thought okay. she had moved from Tallahassee. Okay. But apparently she has an apartment somewhere here in town. Okay. In Leon County. So, with all of that being being now known, she has a place for the dog. She The dog doesn't necessarily have to stay at my house, but because she's doing this Airbnb thing, she feels the need to, to allow the dog to stay at the house or okay. be, because we have some type of communal how, relationship. How long has this dog been at your house? Four or five days now. Five, maybe five or six days now. Five or six days? Yes, sir. Okay. How long has she had the dog? From a puppy, since he was a puppy. Six years? At least, yeah, I would imagine. Okay. And this is the only time the dog has stayed at your house? Yes, sir. He hasn't been at the, the house. The last four or five other. days. Yes, sir. Right. She's he not going to tell me any different. No, he okay. hasn't been at the house otherwise. Because I, I, I can't even have my own dog, which is also a pit bull, and it's due to the fact that the insurance 
wouldn't allow it. She wouldn't allow it. And she, she actually has my pit bull, okay. my mom, that is. And I was not able to bring the dog to the house. So I tried to convey that to her that, you know, this has gone far enough. You need to take the dog from here. Okay. Especially and after the incident Sunday where mm -hmm. I was on the porch and she witnessed the dog there as well as myself. And she made... Um, okay. Has, uh, has the dog bitten you before? No, he's hurt my son before, though. How did he hurt your son? Due to... The dog doesn't have any restraints as far as jumping okay. and scratching. So, um, so like an excitement um, thing or trying to injure your son type thing? Well, I, you couldn't tell the difference in my opinion, but these scratches are due to the dog in particular. Okay. Um, so he's got long nails and he likes to jump up on people? He does. Okay. Absolutely. And she, it hasn't been a situation where she's restrained the dog from jumping on people. Okay. Um, my son is only three years old. The dog, if he jumped on, Malcolm would out, would be taller than my son. Right. This would knock him down. Right, right. I get and that. that. That happened this evening. So as a result of that and then being bid. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily an aggressive thing. That's more of a nuisance thing, though, right? No, I, I've made it very clear to her that I don't appreciate Well, as far as the dog's that. demeanor in that case, it's well, more I, of a nuisance I, than an aggression. I can't speak to the dog's okay. um, cognitive you know, functions. As far well, as I, know, I know that. No one can talk to dogs. Yes, sir. Um, but as far as, you know, the dog viciously attacking your son, that's never happened. Viciously attacking? No, I wouldn't say okay. viciously, but the dog has a tendency to play very rough. Okay. Even even if Playful. it is with, with a child. Okay. Um, so the dog plays rough, likes to jump up on people, and and in this case, today bit you. Yes, sir. Because you were arguing with its owner, right? Correct. Okay. Um, and what part of the house? Did this happen where you were bitten? In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Yes. Okay. So you and her were in the bedroom. Your bedroom. Your bedroom. She she was in the bedroom. She was in the bedroom. Uh huh. I was trying to enter my bedroom. This right. is the, what you would. Right, right. I just consider. This is your house. house. Every room is yours. I get it. Excuse me. So what the master mean? master bedroom. Yes. Sir. Okay. I tried to enter the master bedroom, and the dog was literally sitting behind the door. Mm -hmm. She was in the bed. At that time, once it is that I came through the door, the dog got aggressive. I, and it may just be due to my mannerisms. Or yeah, you're, I'm sure you were mad I that she was not listening. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's your house. She's not allowed to be there. As a result, the dog, I, I would imagine, can sense my hostility. And as a result, gave hostility back. Okay. So when I came into the door, she realized that because I, I personally believe she knows the temperament of her, her dog. Mm -hmm. She knows what is going to set him off. So I went into the room, and as soon as I did, she tried to try to restrain the dog. Okay. Right? So when I went in there, I went into directly into my closet, and I had to walk past them um, because the bed, if this is the bed and this is the closet mm -hmm. that I had to access, I would have had to walk from the door right past the bed to the closet here. Okay. As a result, when I walked past the closet, they were sitting in this area. Okay. Right? And when I scooped past, I didn't get bit at that time, but when I walked back, like out the door, the dog bit me at that time. Okay. And from that point on... Did you I have anything in your hands, hands at that point? I didn't have anything. Okay. Were you arguing, still arguing with her? Asking um, her why, why it is that, you know, she's doing this. At this point, I've been very hospitable to the dog. I yeah, what was your let him demeanor? During I, w I mean, I was upset. I was visually okay. upset. And her? She was upset as well. Okay. And I, and I believe that the dog could understand the upset okay. feelings that were in the air. But once I passed there to enter the closet wasn't a problem she was able to restrain the dog but somehow or other once it is that I retrieved what it is that I needed from the closet she went the dog went and bit me okay. on the leg and at that point I retreated out of the room okay so you're scared of the dog but you go in the room anyway you go to the closet you think well, it's okay well, and then you go back out and the dog bites you 
It's not yeah, as, you're, as you're leaving the room. It's not necessarily that I was afraid of the dog because the dog had been at my house right. throughout this time. Okay. He acts different when she is there versus when she's not there. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm not necessarily afraid of him when she's not there, right? But if she is there, the dog has a whole different demeanor and personality. I, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So when I walked into the room, he was barking, he was upset, visually upset. And she was restraining him by his collar, like, well, by his neck, like that. Has there any been any other time where the dog's been protective of her when you and Absolutely. her have been there? Absolutely. Okay. There How many times be before this? Um, she used to have a, an apartment on twenty two forty one um, uh, Pensacola Street, and any time it is that we had an argument, I would always have to put the dog away or ha okay. ask her to put the dog away because okay. he's he's very temperamental. Okay. Has it ever? Never, chewed through a door, broken through a door in any other circumstance? No, but he, okay. he does have the ability to jump and paw right, the right. door. Right. Um, how, so much, how, how big is the dog? It's huge. Okay. I would say... How much does it weigh, you think? 45, maybe 50 pounds. 50 maybe. pounds? Maybe. Okay. How big is your dog? Um, I would say he's probably 65, 70 pounds. So this dog is smaller than yours? My personal dog, yes. Sir. Your dog is bigger than hers? Correct. Okay. I would imagine you know your dog's weight you take it to the vet and all that stuff. Hers, would, you might would not say, know because you're going to take it. I would say he's from 60, 65 okay. to 70 pounds. Okay. Um, so... When you, you decide to go into the room, and as you're leaving, the dog bites you, and you're going back into the living room now because you just got bit by the dog, right? Yes, sir. Is that, is that accurate? Yes, sir. Where's your son? He is in the room just adjacent to my bedroom. Okay. So there's your bedroom, you said another room, and then your son's room, or bathroom, and then your son's room? If, if this is my son's room, um, you want to draw it? If this is my son's bedroom, mm -hmm. there is a small hallway here mm -hmm. that leads to a bathroom. Okay. And my bedroom here. Okay. Where are the doors to the bedrooms? Okay. So the doors would be right here. Okay. All right. Is and this, this leads into the rest of the house. Okay, so the bathroom's over here, Correct. and there's dual access to the bathroom, I would imagine, or just yours? Well, truth be told, the, part, the room is probably a little bigger than that. Okay. Yeah, it looks, I don't know, okay. All right. Um, is this door open or closed? This door is closed at the time. Okay, as you're leaving, his, so your son's door is closed. And did she close the door behind you when she left and kept the dog in the room? No, I, I, I closed the door. She okay, you closed the door. I, I don't know what happened in the room as far as she goes. Maybe she jumped yeah. back in the bed or maybe she stayed with the dog. But well, I closed the door Okay. For, for, to my bedroom. Okay. To, was that to prevent the dog from following you Absolutely. out? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, um, did she lock herself in your room? To my knowledge, no. I... I opened the door and found the dog on the other side of the door when it is that I tried to go back in there to talk to her after the dog had bit me. Okay. And upon doing that, I just shut the door back and okay. reacted. Um, so you shut the door. Um, there's a door between you and the dog. Your son's door is closed. You go and get your rifle. Correct. And you come back to shoot the dog well, okay. as the door is closed. That was that was not my intention. Was to just shoot the dog, but I did get the rifle just in case mm -hmm. anything were to happen. Whether that were my son to open up the door, or I was to open up the door and the dog were to be loose in the house. Okay. So I went and got the rifle just in case because I didn't I didn't have access to the handgun that was in the room with her. Okay. Um. Okay. So, you know, like, like I said, at the time you pulled the trigger, the door was shut, the dog was behind the door, and you thought you were shooting at the dog. That was my intention. And it wasn't your intention to shoot her? Absolutely not. Okay. No, All right. Um, go ahead. I'm, I'm having trouble 
visualizing. Okay. You you did with the box earlier. If if you're we're gonna do a drawing so I can make sure. Um, where is the bed? The bed. If the door is here, the bed would be right there. And the closet. Right here. Okay. And then. So when does this door open in or out? Like if, if you're in the hallway, do you push the door in to so go open towards your room? Correct. And then when you so you push the door in to go talk to her again. And well, I'm sorry, no, the door the door does open out. It swings. So out. it comes into the hallway. Yes, sir. It, and yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. It okay. would swing out like that. Okay. So the door opens, and when you open the door, where is the dog sitting? Right there. Right here. In front of the door. Okay, now I get it. Thank you. Um, okay. I, do you know the capabilities of the rifle you chose to use? I do, I, I do know the capabilities. Okay. Right. What, what kind of ammo did you put in the, in the gun? Um, it's always loaded with, um, if I'm not if I'm mistaken, 5.56. Five, five, I believe that's what you're Eight, eight, four, seven, five, five, six, would be no. I'm sorry. Should be seven, six, two by thirty. Yes, that's that. Okay. That is what it uh, is. In an AK forty-seven, yes, sir. Uh, what kind of rounds, though? Do you use like self-defense rounds, or do you use target rounds? Target rounds. Just target rounds. Yes, okay. And you, I mean, you do know it's capable of going through a door. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, e even. Yes, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm fully cap um, I'm fully aware of that. But even with my mind, even if I was able to access the block that was in my room, mm -hmm. it would have gone through the door anyway. It's um, right. Hollow. There are hollow point rounds right. in the block. But when it comes to a rifle, I mean, are you aware that it can pass through multiple? I'm, I'm aware. Multiple doors in one shot, multiple walls, that kind of thing. I mean, were you, were you concerned with that at all when you shot at this dog? I was more or less concerned with the threat. At that point, I was in fear of my life. If that dog had gotten out of the room, mm -hmm. at that point, I didn't know what okay. he was capable of. I, I get it. I mean, you know, very heated situation. I mean, you've got a crazy woman in your house who's protecting a dog that has just bit you. Um, and... You know, your son's there. It's, it's a very, very volatile situation. So I get it. You're not exactly thinking, okay, well, what if this thing goes through the house, hits a neighbor's house, that kind of thing. You should. It should be a concern of yours. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't I, think I, I don't think you were necessarily before. thinking that at the time. I, I have heard it before. My, okay. I, I've got a cousin who mentioned that okay. very specifically. Um. I, I just. From, from from what I know, and 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 how you guys were found, um, she was not clothed. Clothed. She did not have clothing on. I think she had underwear on, and that was it. Yes, Bottom yeah. underwear. And that's that's about. And you normal. only had boxer shorts on and a shirt when when officers arrived. Correct. That's about normal for how we would generally be with each other and I'm, I'm not sure if her intention was to stay the night but I did not have the intention of her staying the night okay. I was in my boxer shorts generally um, when she came let's, over let's snip another allegation in the book yes sir okay did you guys have sex tonight no okay that wasn't your intention at all no you didn't we, had, we, we did have sex the prior night but okay. we did not have sex tonight no okay I mean typically that's what's going on when two people are you know, half naked. Right. I can understand that. Um, okay. The the other thing too is, uh, did did you attempt to get in the, the door at any time with a with a butter knife? I I did try to get in the door with a butter knife. Yes, sir. At what point? Once um, she was in a situation where the um, dog was attempting to try. In my opinion, attempting to try to attack me, I used the butter knife to try to enter my bedroom to get back into the room, and I used the butter knife for protection. That was my instant um, reaction. Once it is that I could not get back into my bedroom, I went and got the rifle. Did, why did you need the butter knife to get in the room? It's my room. I felt like I had 
justification for going into my bedroom. Were you, right. was, you did. did she lock the, you out of your room, or what was the, did you use it as a tool to get in the door? I, I did not use it as a tool to get in the door, but that's that's all that I had at my disposal at the time. Okay. It was a butter knife, and I believe Just a second ago, you said you tried to pry the door open with it. Is that not the case now? I didn't, I didn't say that. Did I say I pried the door open? I can't remember. I didn't say I pried the door open. I had you the tried. butter knife. I had the butter knife in my possession. At that time, I also had a screwdriver okay. um, in my possession because I, I didn't have any other How big is a screwdriver? It's a little um, flathead. Okay, like when you would stick through the hole to unlock the door? You know what I'm talking about, to pop the door open? Like no, the but I, 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 there are keys to that to the house, right, like right. multiple keys to the house that I could have just opened the door if I wanted to get in there. I didn't have to pry it open. I'm not saying pry it. I mean the, the little screwdriver, the one you kind of stick through that hole in the doorknob to pop the it door wouldn't off. Fit. It wouldn't fit. Okay. There are okay. there are screw um, keys that actually fit in that small okay. hole. Did you try to use one of those? I did try to use okay. one of those, but it would not open. So you were trying to get in the door, just not with the butter trying, knife? Yes, sir. I was trying to access the room. The butter knife was the only other option that it is that I had to, in my opinion, to try to defend myself outside of using a firearm. Okay. So this dog's being aggressive and bit you, the door is locked, and then you're trying to get back in to where the dog is? I'm trying to get back into my bedroom. Right. I, I didn't understand. Is it, was the door locked? To my knowledge, it was not locked. I tried to open the door. I didn't have any problem Open the door. The dog was sitting on the other side of the door. I immediately shut it. I don't know if it was locked at that point or not, but when I came back with the firearm, I would, I, at that point I wasn't taking any prisoners since the dog had bit me at that point. Okay. Were you at all nervous that the dog was going to attack her in any way? The owner? Mm -hmm. No. No, the dog is very, very much so being comfortable with her from my entire experience with her and the dog. Okay. How long have y'all been together? Maybe a little over a year and some change. Okay. Um, was well, this the first time you had taken care of the dog? Myself, yes. Okay. How many times has that dog been to your house? This, this, this particular, last time. This particular instance. I but you, you and your son have been around this dog before. at her at her house. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of camera system do you have in your house? Um, our um, it's one that you can buy at Walmart. Um, AR something O. Um, I don't okay. remember the actual name of it, but it's like it's in a white box and some green. Um, does it hook up to like a Wi Fi signal or does it? It does. Okay. Yeah. So it's a cloud based server? Correct. Okay. Um, unfortunately, though, the camera inside the house doesn't actually have a, a working battery. The battery died this week. So the only cameras that I have are on the exterior. Okay. Do you mind if we have access to those to, to see what, if anything, transpired? I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay. Do you have a login um, for that? It's a direct access based on my phone, but I'm sure there is a login or something like that, a passcode. Okay. Um, I believe it might be Carpet, capital um, C A R P E T zero one. That's the password. Carpet zero one. Mm -hmm. What's the username for the account? Um, well, the unit is called Zardos, Z A R D O S. Mm -hmm. um, that that might be all you need. That'd be like the username, I guess. Yeah, or I mean that that's the unit name. I don't, there's not actually a unit uh, a username, if you will. Um, okay. But Zardos is the, the okay. name of the Wi-Fi unit. Okay, when you purchase this thing, I mean, did you have to create an account or get an app or something? Or get an app for your phone or anything like I did. that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, because I mean, if there's a video of what happened, that'd be great. You know, that, you know, that would. I I even have videos of of previous events where she's come over and caused problems where right, I right. had to 
I mean, that have been recorded. Um, and, you know, that that's, that's more of a lapse in judgment issue than anything why why she'd be allowed to be there if there, if you guys were having so many problems. That's a matter you need to discuss maybe later with your mom. But um, you know it's yeah. okay. So I don't, I don't mean to let any everybody into my personal business, but I've tried to make it work with this girl beyond mm -hmm. um, what would be normal reason. Um, she gave me herpes. Okay. And you don't need to go there. But you don't need to go there. Okay. Um just stick with tonight. Okay. It's okay, let me let me ask you this. Officers were responding out there. When they arrived at your house. They described it as being very, very quiet. No one was flagging anybody down. Hey, there's someone shot inside my house, anything like that. Is there a reason for that? Once once it is that I was able to see what happened to her, I was trying to carry her to the door um, okay. and, and get her to the hospital or some type of medical attention once I seen what had happened. Is there any reason you didn't call 911? At all, believe it, or, believe it or not, the police had gotten there so quick. I didn't even have a chance to find a phone okay. to call nine one. But once I had seen what had happened to her, that was my intention because it wasn't something that we, you know, you could have put a band aid on or. Okay. And at no time did you refuse to call nine one one on her for. Her? No, no, not at all. That conversation never happened. No, if she needed nine one one or if she wanted me to call them, I would have called them. That, my intention was not to shoot her. My intention was to, to deal with the threat. Okay. So if she if she needed medical assistance, I wouldn't have had any problem with calling the cops. Okay. Or any anybody else who would have came. And like I said, officers got there. It's quiet. There's no one outside flagging anybody. I was, I was surprised at how quickly the officers had gotten there. Um. Okay. You know. I don't doubt the dog bit you. I saw your leg. Dog bit you. I mean, that's that's not. That, that's that that definitely happened. Um, what I'm having trouble believing is that you shot this dog or tried to shoot this dog in self-defense. Why is that? Well, you're shooting through a closed door. The dog can't get through. First of all, I think you shot in anger. All right, and whether it was your intention to shoot the dog or not, I don't know. You're shooting at your own door. Um, in your own house, and you, you're in a heated situation with somebody like you said that you've got a lot of reason to not like her. Um, it, the one, the, the one reason you just spoke about is you know reason enough to hate her forever. Um, well, that's, but uh, that's not justification to shoot her. No, that, it's not. And that was I'm not, not saying that. I'm but not. that the dog and I more or less do not get along. We and and I don't get along with the dog more so that I don't get along with her. So any kind of disgruntled disagreement that me and her could have had is par is 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 secondary to my interaction with the particular dog. Let's take her out of the equation. Say okay. she's not even in the room. Yes, sir. The dog's locked in a room. She's not there. No problem. Obviously, you're mad at the dog because it bit you. I mean, is that why you shot the dog? Is because you were mad at it? Absolutely not. The dog it acts completely different th when she is there versus when she is not there. The dog almost acts like he's some kind of uh, stepchild, if you will, when she is not around versus when she's in the equation. Apparently, he feels that he has um, leeway. Okay. Well, you know, I'm... I don't want to keep playing games with you. You know, I, I respect your mother a whole lot. Okay. Well, officer, to I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, to play games with you either. But that—that that is my, but my my impression. my true honest belief is you're mad at this dog and you shot the dog or tried to shoot the dog in anger. You didn't intend to shoot her. I'm not saying you're even capable of wanting to shoot a person, unless you felt that they were an imminent threat to you. I'll give you that one. Okay. I don't I don't take you for someone that would just willy nilly shoot somebody. All right, you're not that type of person. But you've been drinking. Emotions got the better of you tonight, 
And I wholeheartedly believe you shot at that dog on purpose because you were mad at the dog, not because it was a threat to you. I do believe it was a threat. It wasn't my intention to be mad at the dog. It, it's just a dog. And I take care of the dog when she's not around. Okay. I come home every day to walk the dog, to take him out, to let him use the bathroom. I feed the dog. I, walk, I, I, I provide water for the dog. I don't hate the dog because I own a pit bull just like that particular dog. Why? Well, I, I, I hate the dog. They bit well, me. But I, he only bit me tonight. He's never bit me before. Even... even if he's had altercations with my, I wouldn't say altercations, but if he was too playful with my son, that's not reason that I would want to shoot him. I have no hostility towards the dog. The dog is a dog. But once he bit me, at that point I was in fear. I, the, the fact that it bit you isn't even the biggest problem with this dog. It was abandoned in your house. By a, by a woman you don't get along with. What do you mean abandoned, though? She knew she knew good and well. Oh, I mean, she was. left it there for four or five days knowing that you weren't allowed to have a dog at your house. I call that abandonment. I'm not sure he didn't know he wasn't supposed to have a dog until well, yesterday. Well, they, they, well, they told me about they the didn't. insurance policy. And right, no, they didn't I, want I, a dog. Yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. okay. on my way to church. I was driving down the street, taking my mother to church, and I saw this dog in the yard. How long have you lived there? He's been there for years. eight months. Right? Yeah, eight yeah. months, and you were never allowed to have your dog there. He's well, I, I've, I've never been able to have a pit there. There was a dog that lived next door who okay. was basically wild and was living next with a lady who didn't take care of the dog at all, and they didn't have any problem with me keeping that dog. Okay, um, but it wasn't a pit bull. No, it wasn't a pit bull breed. It was more like a canine, if you will. Um, well, not canine, but um, a lab Labrador. Okay. Um, now, he, the dogs um, popped off being difficult yesterday because I told him, get your ass out of my house. Either you or the dog go. Okay. At that point, I let her know that the dog couldn't stay at the house because right. the jig was up. We had to come get the dog. Um, can't keep the dog here anymore. She did not like that. She didn't like the fact that she had to remove the dog from the house. And basically, when she came over to so-called retrieve the dog, she just stayed mm -hmm. and lingered, rather. I, I wouldn't say stayed, but she just lingered. Well, um, I mean, the fact, you know, the fact of the matter was, I mean, you guys were both disrobed, you know, for whatever reason, you know, and I think her staying there was something more of an invitation than, than just to retrieve the dog. Be that as it may. Okay. okay. All right. Um, you argued. The dog bit you. But I'm having a very hard time believing that dog. At any point, other than at any point, you tried to get back into that room where the dog was being contained. That you felt this dog was a threat to you. If you're trying to go back into the room, that's it's, not it's, that's it's, not a plausible it, it's, logical. It's, it's, but it's my, it's my property, though. I mean, it, well, right, in this right. particular situation, it is my property. I don't feel like I should be barred from any room just because a dog and a girl that I don't like is in the room. I should right. be able to access it if I need to get my cell phone, if I need to go ahead and get a pair of drawers. I feel like I should be able to, I should be obligated to be able to go into my own bedroom mm -hmm. without having to worry about somebody in there that I don't particularly like who owns a dog. Oh. It wasn't my intention to try to harm the dog because I don't like pit bulls, but the dog had already bit me significantly enough to where it is that I felt that this dog was a threat. I mean, I, whether I'm in my underwear or not, um, you know, I'm whether I have my cell phone or not, have access to any kind of communication or not, I am not going to put myself back into a room where a dog just bit me. Barna, there's a locked, closed door between me and the dog. I know it can't get through. I'll walk next door, knock on the door of the neighbor's house and say, hey, I need to call the cops. I need to get this crazy whatever out of my house along with her stupid dog because it just bit me. And then we would have come, removed her from your house, probably arrested her for trespassing um, because you kept telling her to leave, right? And taking the dog as well. I, I'm not. I'm not going to argue with that. You, you're right. Okay. The better judgment would have been to just call the police and have it dealt with. I mean, you know, you, you know, part of part of something being a threat to you is not putting yourself in harm's way.
which is what she but, did. But the, the dog the dog is ultimately in the house. If if I had walked away to go and take a, a piss, right? Excuse me. But to, to go and use the bathroom and my son had opened the door mm -hmm. based on the circumstances at the time, it wouldn't have been a situation where I would have just called the police and had them summon to the house or however long that would take it. My son likes Jasmine or the or the, the young lady who was at the house. She likes he likes her. So if he had opened up the door to try to see what was so going now, on. Now feelings are getting in the way, okay? When it comes to stuff like that. You're talking about something that's a threat to you and your son? If he's get him out of the house. Simple as that. You, you go next door, you use the phone, you get him out of the house. Well, I, w I won't argue with that. Right. I, I, I definitely probably could have used and, better judgment. And, you know, your, your son's behind a closed door, this dog's behind a closed door, you go and get your rifle and start shooting through the door. You know, that's, uh, you know, I, you know, I, my, I don't my, know what else my, to say about it. My, my son is old enough to open up doors. My son is old enough to open up locked doors at this point. At that particular time when it is that I retreated away from the door, I felt that he was at danger because he likes this young lady. And if he had opened up the door in consequence of trying to see what was going on, mm -hmm. I felt it was a, a liability to him as well as me at that particular time. It wasn't a situation where I was looking at it like, I'm just going to shoot this dog because I'm upset with the, with, the, with the particular dog. Yeah, but, you know, it's not an imminent threat at that point. Your mom knows the meaning of the word imminent. I, I'm, I'm so, very aware of what yeah, imminent threat people, means. I've seen dogs. Well, imminent, that dog. imminent, imminent threat is the reason why they are that's enough. insurance. That's, that's enough. Like I said, well, imminent, imminent threat, threat is, is the reason why insurance is the way that it is about pit bulls and rottweilers and these things is because you never can predict the personality traits or any of the nature of these particular animals. Mm -hmm. Once the dog had bit me at that point, the dog needed to be removed from the house in one way or another. If my son had opened up that door and got mauled after he had already been knocked down, in my opinion, that's too far for me to be... So you wanted to remove the dog with the AK? No, that wasn't my intention. My intention was to get the dog out of the house, period. Okay. The AK was only as a result after I had been bit by the dog, and she has already told me stories about her ex-fiance being mauled by the dog. Okay. But you're trying to remove the dog with an AK-47. I mean, that's not, not necessarily. I'm trying to eliminate the threat. Did you have a plan? Um, I, I know that you, you grabbed the AK-47 for just in case. Okay. Absolutely. Um, did you have a leash? For him, I don't have a leash. It's not. It's not my dog. So I didn't. But you had been taking care of him. So when you when you did you have a fence in the yard when you let him out? It's a fence in the yard. But when you when you went back to the room, your intent you said was to get the dog out of your house, right? Not necessarily to get the dog out of my house, but to get to to get her to peacefully remove the dog from the house. Okay. And you were afraid that your son was gonna open the door and end up in the middle of a dangerous situation. Well, at the, at the time it was loud, it was boisterous, there was enough noise going on that he was hollering and asking what's going on. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I felt the need to go ahead and, and be the barrier between um, his room, which is here, mm -hmm. me, and the dog. So if I if the if he were to come out of the door uh, out of the room and I was elsewhere in the bathroom or getting the AK, he could have just as well gone in here and been harmed as a result of it. My thing is after he had bit me, the dog the dog is as far as I'm concerned is rabid. You know what I'm saying? He he's a danger to anybody in the house other than the person that owns the dog. Could you have gone into your son's room and closed the door, rifle in hand? I, 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 won't, I won't disagree with any of that. I could have probably handled the now situation. Now there's two doors between you and the dog. Absolutely, could have been could have been handled differently. What are your doors know. made of? Um, plywood. Plywood? Yeah, it's not it's not much. Solid wood door. It's not a solid wood door. It's plywood just door. Um, yeah. Okay. They're very, they're very thin. You I mean you could drill mm -hmm. very easily through the doors. Okay. But they're intact, they shut, they lock? They do, yes sir. Okay. All right. Um, 
We're going to serve a search warrant at the house. We are going to seize phones and everything else for the communication aspect of it. We're going to seize blood evidence, shell casings, firearms. Um, and I guess we'll figure out what to do with the dog. Where is the I dog? I haven't even seen the dog after the fact. I think it's been handled by officers on scene already. Okay. So it's not in your house anymore, I guarantee that. I, I honestly didn't even see the dog after it, it well, after I shot the, through the door, I, I didn't even see the dog again. I don't know if he hid, I don't know what happened. All it is that when she, when she was bleeding and hollering for help, I immediately tried to get her to the door and see if we could get medical attention for her and the police were already there. Um, as, soon as, as soon as I opened up the door, they were there and they apprehended me. Okay. Well, I mean, she claims there's an argument on whether or not to call the cops and ultimately she made the decision to call when you wouldn't. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, there's truth to it. Absolutely, she called the she called the police after she was, sh I guess, shot. Um, because I I didn't hear the police called at any other time during the argument other than when it is that I had tried to fire at the dog. You misunderstand his question. What is it? Did you so argue with her about calling law enforcement? No, no. There was no argument. There wasn't even a discussion about law enforcement at all during during the initial argument and subsequent to the argument. Once it is that I had shot already, then at that point, she decided to call the police. Okay. How many times did you shoot? Twice. We were standing when you shot? Yeah, yes ma'am. Okay. How, how tall are you? About six foot. Okay. The other problem we have, too, is the dog is not hit once. She is shot twice. You said you fired two shots. You hit her with both shots. So I, I, well, I couldn't see behind the door. Right. And that was not my intention to shoot her. Um, but I'm assuming that because she was behind the door, ultimately the dog happened to be in the proximity or was in the area of where it is that I intended to shoot. If that makes sense. Well, based on the because map, she she would have been directly behind the dog. No. Well, she was in the bed. If right. She was sitting. She was sitting here. Once I had come in here and gotten bit by the dog trying to enter the closet. Right. She was sitting in the bed. I didn't know whether or not she was in the bed or not. But I had sh fired two shots this way, towards the door. And apparently, in that in that mirage of shot, she she was hit. When we put the 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 rods and everything through that door and everything else. That's what it's going to show, right? Yes, sir. That you were aiming towards the closet. Not towards. I mean, I was firing towards the like the door handle um, itself in a downward. Away in, from the bed. In the last place you yeah, saw. Yeah. Not not towards the bed, but in away from. There's there's like a little area here. Um, I guess that's unspoken for. There's a little area here, and I tried to fire in this direction, I guess, like you said, towards the closet. Mm -hmm. That was my intention, and not towards where it is that I last saw her. When, when you opened the door and saw the dog sitting there, and then you shot it immediately, right? Mm -hmm. How long was it before you shot? One second? 20 seconds? You saw the dog. You went out like the AK and came back and shot through the door, correct? I opened the door, got, I, I, well, let me say, I had the AK, opened the door to see if whether or not she was, or what was going on in the room, noticed the dog was there, shut the door immediately, tried to talk to her or whatever, the dog kept barking, 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 and I, and I just shot two sh shots through the door. Okay. How long do you think Where, it was that, that between time, while y'all were? Be between the shots? Well, yeah. Maybe a minute, 30 seconds, maybe a minute at the most. And you, I mean, you told her to get the dog and get out, right? Absolutely. She As you're yelling me. through this door. Yes. AK in hand, you're yelling through the door, come get the dog, get it out. I don't believe she knew I had an AK. Right, but, right. But yes, but that was my intention. You did. Yes. So you tell her to 
come get the dog, and then you shoot at the dog, right? Not, not in that fashion, but... I mean, that's what you're telling her is to get the dog and correct, get out of the correct, house. Correct. And then you thought it was a good idea to shoot at the dog. Then I'm not saying you tried to shoot her, okay? No, that's, no, not, no. that's not what I'm trying to say, is that yes, in the heat of the moment, what you're telling her to do well, is, in, is in direct contradiction with you trying to defend yourself against this dog and what shooting I'm, What I'm dog. telling her the second time it is before I let the barrage of shots off is that the dog bit me. The dog, your dog just bit me. Right. You need to do something about this dog. The dog right. is out of control. Bang, bang is how, okay. it, is how it basically went down. At that point, I wasn't interested in her taking the dog out of the house. I, okay. If, I, if, if you will, I want, I want to, a, to a, deal with the yeah. issue. This is a mess. Okay. This is an absolute mess. All right. Like I said, I don't think you're a bad person. I don't think you intended to do this to her, right? That was not my intention, no. Right, okay. But, you know, it, there it, there are consequences for what you did, okay? And you're going to have to face those consequences, all right? I'm going to have to talk to her, too. She's told us a little bit about what happened. Okay. Um, you know, and... She did say there was an issue with calling law enforcement, I guess, because, I don't know, if you were scared, whatever. You know, she got help. That hasn't been an issue. She's called law enforcement numerous times on me. And, um, and I don't know if you can check TPD, okay. but there's... there's That's been, enough. Look, okay. But, I, I mean, just for frivolous things, though. All right. Like, That's enough, Justin. Okay. Do you want to talk to him again, or...? No, I mean, I think, I mean, I, like I said, I know about pit bulls. I got one and he's attacked dogs and right. tried to kill people. They, they will kill if they think, if their own is being attacked. Cause I get that, Zeus sir. will, uh, Zeus will kill you. you. He thought, I was in the kitchen one day and I screamed just being stupid and the dog came in there fully in position to attack. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't nobody in but me. Right. I get it. They're they're an, they're tend to be an aggressive breed. So I know they're aggra they're very protective of their owner. Mm -hmm. I am now the owner. I've been the owner for the last year, so um, I'm hoping y'all don't charge him tonight or whatever and finish your investigation. Uh, we might have a choice. That's why he might be charged tonight. So, what am I being charged with? You know, at this point, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon um, comes to mind. Possibly attempted murder, based on what she tells us. So, I again, I know what you're telling me. I'm trying to shoot the dog. Um, fact of the matter is, she shot. The dog isn't. Um, there's an argument beforehand. A lot of emotion, a lot of anger going on inside the house. I mean. I'm not saying that the charge will change later, but that's what the, the, that's what I'm thinking right now. Is it possible that you can finish your investigation before you charge him? He ain't going to where I live here. Right. He's he's going to stay right there until we're finished with the search warrant, until we're done talking to her. So he's going to be held until that, and then we will determine what charge exactly. But so, right now, so right now, you, you know. So what I'm what I'm saying to you doesn't bear any weight on. Oh, it do, it does, it does. But, but but what you're telling me is that I'm going to be charged for trying to defend myself from a dog who has already hurt someone and could potentially and and, and not potentially but hurt me and could have possibly hurt my son. What you're telling me is that I'm going to be charged for attempted murder because of this. No, because or I, or, I don't or aggravate, that's aggra aggravated battery because of this? I, I don't believe that's what happened. That you were simply defending yourself. You don't believe that, that? No, I don't. I'd be lying to you if I said I did. I don't. You shot through a closed door at a dog. You said it was a threat when you were trying to get back into the room. But it, it, that, is, it is my you, house. You put yourself back into a situation. It's the same thing with staying your ground. It's the same thing with everything Not else. Not in your house, if, though. Just if you put yourself back into the situation... Okay. So if it's no longer element of fear. Uh, 
if a, if a person came to my house to rob the house with a dog, okay. and I shot through the door to try to kill the dog who was trying to rob my house, am right. I am I looking okay. at attempted murder for that? Okay, or right. aggravated battery for that's that? Enough. No, that's enough. That's enough. Excuse me. Um, but that is hardly the case here. How is it hardly the case? I was trying to defend my son who was behind me. Okay, all right. Listen here, Mom. Okay. In the meantime, if you would like to speak with him, given what what we our decision now, um, you're more than welcome to do so. What, what if decision not, is that? Right now, he is under arrest. Okay. Again, we haven't searched the, searched the house yet. We have not done a detailed interview with her yet. Okay. I'm sure there'll be holes in her story too. Okay. Um, and again, the, the the stuff I'm talking about, the forensics evidence and all that stuff, we still have to do that. Okay. Like I said, that could change, but you're not going anywhere until something does change. Okay. What holes in the story of mine? I, I tried to explain that to you already. Well, but you, but just you have leave it alone, okay? If but but I, I'm, I'm going to be the one it? who has to sit in here asking myself these questions. What holes in my okay, story Justin, other than the fact that listen. I was trying to defend myself listen. against Justin, this, this young lady? Of, okay, listen. Um, I'm not sure exactly what... Um, this is, he this has to do, he's in his home, he's in a place where he has a right to be, so we'll This is exactly my it. point, like, I my should be able to defend is, myself. Is, you, excuse me, I'm asking you is just not to put the charge on him until you're there. It's just a whole ramification of doing that, is all I'm I, asking. I, and yes, I, I, I completely understand your concern. Um, but... Okay. If a felony can, offense can, has can, occurred. Wait, wait can, I, can I just make sure I understand this? Don't Justin, interrupt me. will you please just be quiet? I just want to make sure I understand. Okay, wait, please. Don't, don't, don't interrupt me. Okay, please, just be quiet. Just leave that. Leave that. Leave that. If there's evidence to believe a felony offense occurs and I have probable cause for that felony, I have to make the arrest. You know that. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm bound. I can't let someone with a felony go if there's probable cause for their arrest. We will. What is the probable cause, officer? Justin, I can't say it. nothing. Just you, just leave it. You're not gonna change. I mean, you, you didn't got you didn't got my story, but okay, I can't even okay, ask you what the probable right. cause is. Mm -hmm. I will say this. It'll go through my supervisors before any charge is written and any booking is done. It goes through my supervisors. It goes through probably our legal advisor at this point. Um. And it will go through the state attorney's office as well. So I, I do have checks as well. If there's any any reason they find that that's that that shouldn't be the case, or he gets arrested tonight, okay. That that's the only reason, though. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. The last if, if 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 someone with more authority than me to charge mm -hmm. says don't charge him, that's what I'll do. But at this point. You know, I, I think we have to hold him. No, just listen, okay? I'm not going to sit here and, and, and just hold on to what I it is that I wanted to ask. Okay, uh, um, you're being recorded. Let's get Do you want to consult with her first before you ask not, me? Not, not at this point. I just want to know what it is that the probable cause is to charge me for what, it, what you're intending to charge me with. What is the probable cause? He's already told you. He hasn't told me. Just that you're not acting in self-defense and you shot a woman in your house. How do you that know was that? That guest in your house. Okay, okay. Based on what it is that I've told you, what makes you think that I didn't shoot in self-defense? If I open the door to my own... Listen, arguing is not going to help the situation, okay? Arguing is what lawyers I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you've already made well, up your mind then in that, in that instance. So arguing with you is not going to make a difference. Right now, no. Not from you. No. I will say this. If something, if, if some more light is shed on this, that could possibly affect. What more light could be shed if you've already made up your I mind? I mean, that baby was standing there. So he was there and out in the open. 
Cornelius he was behind the door. All, all the, the same, the baby there. can open the door. Be quiet. The baby was sitting there. The baby told me. The baby's telling you that he saw the um, the shoot. Yeah, I mean, I've just said the baby was... Saw blood. Dead. He was eventually oh. out of that room. Oh. I mean, you know, it's... There's time elapsed between... But, but the time what all, 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 I'm, all I'm saying is, is that if the... Right. Okay, that's enough. All right, you've, done, you've told your side of the story. All right. The officer doesn't believe that you were in fear. And I'm just... The only issue I have is just charging him with something that potentially will not... You know, it's not going to go forward. That's all I'm saying. Right, because right. it sticks. It's there. And, I, yeah, I will and I'm just saying that, I mean, uh, I mean, he's not going anywhere. Right. He is not it's going anywhere. That's not the problem, though. Oh, if, if, just if, be quiet. He's not going anywhere. I just, the booking is the issue. I, I understand that. And trust me, I will tread lightly when it comes to that. I promise I will give him every, every benefit I can defense. to not have him booked into the jail tonight. I would really appreciate. That. I know, I know you would, and and I, I mean, I, you can ultimately he can get the charge. It's just getting booked in under the charge, and it conceivably, because yeah, I've been I, down I, this road for 30, 40 years, and I don't think that it's going to go very far. But the fact that he's been booked in will go very far. Okay. I and. I, I, I understand that. I understand that completely. I would want the same, same especially respect. Is, especially when he's when he shouldn't go to the jail. I know there's an issue about my children being in the jail. Right. Um, so. And that's, again, that that's a decision that also is above my head. When I say my children, I'm not trying to curry favors. Just that I got people in the jail that don't like me and truly don't oh, find I'm out who he is. That is, a, that is a major concern for me as well. If, if there is any association between him and you, obviously it's a, it's a, it's it's maybe, a concern. It's the same as mine. Right. So um, the, obviously that, that, that is a huge concern for us as well. And I don't want something ill to befall your son because of a bad night. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't say anything. No, just give it a break. I want to, though. Just not enough already. Just settle down, okay? Let him do his job. I didn't intend to shoot this girl. My intention was to go ahead and deal with the threat. My son is is almost four now. He'll be four in October. He is capable of opening up the door. He was screaming the entire time. I understand what you're saying about there's not a threat, but the dog, if, he, if she even went out of the door to try to leave the house, the dog was still a threat to me. What you're, what you're saying is basically that the dog was not a threat just because he was behind a door. If she decided to go and take a piss, it's still a threat to me. The dog, the dog is the problem, not... Is there anything you want to discuss with him outside of the presence? No, I don't need to okay. go. I guess. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Do you have any timeline at all in terms of this evening? I, I wish I could give you an accurate one. Um, I haven't even. I've 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 written a paragraph or two of my probable cause for the search warrant for the house. So. Mm -hmm. By the time it gets written, approved, signed by the judge, and then we're serving it at the house, I mean, we, we could be looking at daylight. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. Okay. So, um, I, I'd like to tell you a couple hours, but I can't. That's fine. I don't so. know, because I need to go home. Can you turn that off? Yes. Okay. Um, I need to go home, because I have a child. I'm not going to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm asking you in terms of what what do you when will you make the booking decision? Like I said, I don't care about the Would charge. Would you like me to call you? Yeah, I don't necessarily okay. care about the charge. It's the booking process. If right. there's a way Around that this that. man can be given some sort of appearance, because uh, he ain't a threat, he ain't going nowhere. I mean, he's going right now because his grandfather is just evicted him. Going to be at my house. Okay. Um. 
He's not going. He's gonna be at my house, so I'm just uh, any, uh, any kind of. Um, I think uh, the nature of the charges would, you know, would be first appearance required. Um, yeah, uh, that's like I said. That's a. That's a decision. Listen, boy, be well, quiet. Well, Just well, be quiet. I mean, is it possible you know, to, you know, for me to talk? Oh, Jesus. You want to talk outside? No. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you need another water or anything? I'll get you another water. This is crazy, man. Investigator Isaacs. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, it's pretty clear what happened, at least from your side of, you know, we asked very detailed questions. We have the diagram and everything, okay? The, the issue is, you say that you understand what imminent threat is. That's the issue here. Is it an imminent threat? The dog was behind the door, okay? So that's where it's going to be decided, okay? So ultimately, like he said, He's going to have to write it up. We're going to have to go search the house. We're going to have to get everything that we possibly can to, to tell what the truth was, to tell what actually happened. Her side of it, your side of it, what the evidence says, everything, okay? It's not it's not like already made up our mind because... But he's going to charge me, though. That's he's what, it, that's, what it, that's what it looks like. But again, we've done this much work on this giant situation here, okay? So... There's still work to be done. Things could change at any point. That's why it's ongoing. If something changes, you're going to be told, okay? So that's where we're at. We still have lots to do. We still have to get her side. We still have to see what the house looks like, okay? So it's not he's already made up his mind because he wants to charge. No, that's what it appears to be based on our conversation that we've just had with you, that you were here for. I mean, you were the one that told us everything, so. <clears throat> but based, based on what it is that I told you, I sound, I sound like I moved without any disregard for human life? No, no, no. Because no. Im as far as the I will interpret an imminent threat, if she opens the door, if she just decides that, hey, aggressive dog, I'm going to open the door and come out and talk to you and the dog bites me again, then I have enough grounds to... So, the, like I said, the definition of what imminent means, okay? Generally speaking, if the imminent threat is based on if this happens, then there's a threat, that's not imminent. But he already bit me. Though. I know that, and I'm not saying... I mean, no one's denying you clearly have a dog bite. I'm there with you. I believe it. I would not want to mess with that dog either. And I certainly wouldn't want him around my child. Okay. It's the... Were you forced to do it right then because of the threat? So, arguing, like you said, is for courts. So, if it ends to... If it comes to that... I'm going to be charged with would, attempted did, murder. No. He said it's a possibility. You asked what the outcomes could be. We told you what they could be. Okay. We've got tons of work to do, and nothing's decided at this point. I'm just trying to be honest with you about what could happen. Worst case scenario, doesn't mean that it's going to be that. Got it? Okay. Am I, am I going to go to Leon County? Um, because of your family connection, I'm not sure what the, pro, uh, what the protocol is about that, but whatever is going to be the safest option for you is probably going to be the one to go with, okay? Um, 
right, so Justin, you don't need to talk anymore. You're not going to grant people anything differently than what's going on. Full of shit. Why the fuck are they doing this to me? I told them the truth. That's well, the truth. Okay. I drew a diagram. Okay, well, the deal is, is Justin, this is where we are, and there's nothing I can do to help you at this point, okay? Um, I don't know what we're going to do, how we're going to handle this situation. Yeah, just give me a second, because obviously I can't take you, so just give me a second to get him over. Yeah, I'm going to place these in front, that way you can use the restroom. Take very small steps because you will, they will hurt if you try to take too long of a step. Shirt. Another shirt if you can find, can find a sweater for you. Yeah, that, that might be nice. Yeah, have a seat right here. I, I gotta be cuffed to sleep though. Yes, I have to cuff you to the chair. I'm Good. sorry. Okay, well I can be cuffed to the chair, but I gotta have them left. Yes, you have to have those on as well. I'm sorry, um, but I can't turn this chair. You are allowed to prop your feet up if you'd like. Um, it, I'll, I'll position it. Let me uh, let me let me get the handcuff to this.
to this seat, you know, this first. Um, is there, is there, I mean, I'm not going to obviously be able to get away you know, with light restraints, but is there any way to loosen them or open them a little bit? They're, they're all, that's, Shit. this is as Maybe loose. Same okay. Let me, I can loosen that. Those are as loose as they go. They're only one click in. So, um, I can't make them any more loose than that. But this I can prevent from tightening. Okay. All right. I mean, I intended to lay on the floor anyway, so. I can't let you lay on the floor, okay? There is a camera in this room. You have to be in view of the camera. All right. Well, can can I lay monitor. within the within view of the camera? This is in view of the camera. All right. You okay. have to you have to be seated in the chair. No. All right. I'm sorry. You can lay your head down on the table if you'd like. You can prop your feet up on this chair. That's that's about all I can it's offer you. A little sleep, okay. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. What, what was your name again? I'm Jerry Magna. Magna? Magna. M-E-G-N-A. Okay. Thank you. This chair is softer. So if you want to put your feet on this chair. Uh, if I have to use the bathroom or anything again, do I just knock on just, the door? Just holler out or knock on the door and someone will come get you to go to the bathroom. If it's not me. Do, do we know for sure she's not going to be able to use her hand again? She, I, I've been told she will lose her hand. Okay. Intentions to get up and walk out of here. Which hand do you want? Free? Yeah. Can we give this one a break? You want this one free now? Yes, okay. yeah, if so, because it's yeah. rough on the wrist. Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's policies in place. If someone's in custody here, they have to be on both leg irons and secured, uh, came, and secured in some fashion. When I came in, they didn't, they didn't have the leg irons. No, when you came in, you didn't, but once you're up here, they have to go home. Okay. Um, if I can trouble you with one more question. Yes, um, you said You said in, in an hour. Um, Investigator so. Magna is on his way back up here. Um, he's primary on the case. Okay. He's on his way back up here from the residence for a search warrant was served. Um, so once he's back up here, we should be within the next 10 minutes or so. Okay. Um, we should be about finished up. Okay. You want this wrapped around here? Uh, I'm just going to it Yeah, do me a favor. If you're going to lay down, lay down right here. Not not behind or underneath the table, okay? So, however you want to do it. If you want to stretch out your legs, sit in the chair and stretch your legs out this way, um, or whatever, just lay down here. It's not, not underneath the table, okay? All right.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, when you came in, you said about about an hour. I, I have no idea what time it is in here. Okay. Um, is there? Do you want me to tell you what time it is? Would that help you with something? That and it's six forty-three, six forty-two maybe. This sometimes just drags a minute. Okay. Um, is there is there anything anybody can tell me about what's going on? Yeah, you're going to be transported to jail in just a little bit. To Leon County Jail? Yes, sir. What about what about my my mom's situation? I, I'm apparently not going. I'm, I'm not supposed to go to Leon County Jail. No, you, you're going to Leon County Jail. There may be some arrangements that will be done later on that, but we don't have any ability to transport you to a different jail without any other special arrangements because we're in Leon County, so that's where we have to deliver people. Okay. So Something can be done about that later. Your stuff would be exempt, and you, you could be kept away from general population and things like that, but right now that's where we we don't really have another option. Okay, um, do you have an idea of how long that will be? I don't. It won't be much longer, but I don't know. How, I can't promise you a time. Okay, and um, first appearance, is that where I'll, what I'll be looking You'll at? You'll have a first appearance at some point, yes, sir. Okay. I'm pretty certain based on the charge, and I have had little to nothing to do with your case. I just came into work this morning, right? So. Um, what it comes down to is, I do know what the charge is. You're being charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. And so that's going to probably more than likely involve the first parents requirement. Okay. Any other questions I can help you with? Um, I guess um, we can't turn the light off or anything. Though. No, we can't turn the light off. Sorry. All right. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm Jason Newhouse. I'm going to be transporting you. I don't know anything about your case or anything like that. Oh, let me just get up. Held up. Yeah, I don't know anything about your case, so I don't know. I can't answer too many questions. I'm just your ride. They, they already searched you and everything. Nobody searched me. No. no. Do you have anything on you? So I'm gonna move these. Let me take this off first. I can't even go to twist this out. Sorry, I didn't want to let you know. I don't know what this does in the body, but. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Good. I'll let those guys know. I'll actually leave it off so they can see. Um, okay, if you'll turn around, we got to go behind your back. Here with these. If you keep your hands like this, the handcuffs won't dig in right there on your wrist. You know what I mean? Um, 
She is probably going to lose her left hand. I told you that before. Um, that's the extent, the, you know, the biggest injury she sustained. Luckily, you know, it wasn't more serious than that. But she's going to be permanently disabled now. This chair is broke. Um, I'll let your mom know what, what your charges were already. Okay. So I guess just wait for her to do her thing. You'll have to, you'll have, yeah, after first appearance, they'll decide what the bond is going to be. All right. And the charge is aggravated battery. With a deadly weapon, that's it. That's the only charge. Okay, it's a second degree felony.